the big time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stand. <laughs> um, before we begin, though, I have a, a, a YMH exclusive. Oh, yeah. exclusive. Oh, I mean, were we told about this yeah, or not? I, I, this I mean, is a surprise it, to me. Let's get the exclusive out of the just way. Just for the listeners to know, uh, and for you, yeah. while we were waiting for Greg to arrive, do you I need, saw... Do you need yes, the, I need some fucking music. Oh, it's a big okay. deal. A your mom's house exclusive. <laughs> you you smelt it here first. <laughs> go ahead. I saw Josh Potter yeah. eat something. Whoa. Yeah. Josh is a comedian who also works with us. I just met him. Um, he's a hilarious comic. He is a human cockroach. He uh, He's like, 40 degrees is hot. I don't <laughs> eat. I sleep from 3 p.m. to 8. I can't come with a woman. Like, just all <laughs> he can't, can't come, come with a woman? With no, a woman. No, no, no. He can only come if he takes over and, 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 you know, strokes it himself. But he can't actually finish. So he can just he can just bang for hours and just be like, Sorry. Oh, so he can make love to a woman. He yes. just can't complain. Yeah. Have you ever faked it because you were too drunk to pop? Uh, that's a good question. Wow. I did once. You did? Yeah, and I took the condom off real quick and threw it out before she could see it was empty. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. What a life so, you've had. Yeah. Faked an orgasm. I was a man. Now, see, but we can feel. But if you're both drunk, she probably couldn't feel. Not with a condom on, no. Yeah. yeah. I just, feel like just before we move on, Josh faked. ate a Twinkie, just so we know. Oh, a Twinkie. So he's still, right. still yeah, a good. cockroach. He's going to live long. <laughs> yeah. So. It's still full of nasty shit. So I feel like I faked uh, coming with an ugly with girl me? once. You oh. Know? Like, like I just was like, uh, I want this to be over. So yeah. I was like, oh. I know who it was. Like, you do? I feel like, because I know about the trolls that you've porked, you've told me. <laughs> <laughs> was it that older woman? To all the trolls oh, I've porked <laughs> before. My, uh, when I fucked my friend's aunt, you yes. mean? Yes. No. Her? Yeah. yeah. That was bad day. Whoa. Yeah. I was 21. <laughs> she was in her 40s. So like now that doesn't Ugh, sound crazy. Old. But 20 some year age gap. Yeah. And I was hammered. <laughs> I mean, really hammered. All I remember was that, you know, I definitely didn't finish. I don't think I pretended. I was just, just, you just so stopped. Hammered. I just remember, dude, <laughs> waking up, right? And waking up and I'm looking out a window because I'm in bed. I'm looking out this window like, where am I? You know, like totally coming to this is the next morning. Yeah. Where the fuck am I? It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I was like, oh, so hung over. And then I just feel an arm. Like around me, looks like a movie. Yeah, and I'm like, what? And she's like, hey, baby, good morning. <laughs> and I turn, and it looked like Bill Belichick in a wig. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, and you were Tom yeah. Brady. And I yeah. was like, oh. and then she's like, I'm gonna take a shower. I'll see uh. you in a minute. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna sprint out of here. Yeah, I, my clothes is all over the house. I get dressed, and I was like about to walk out the front door, and I realize. Not only did I not drive here, I don't know where I am. So I just had to wait downstairs, like kind wow. of pacing nervous. This is before Uber. Oh, yeah. Was, I mean, I was 20. So And before me, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I see on the refrigerator the report cards of her kids. Oh. And they're like seventh grade. So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> and then the best part is that when I finally, she drops me off. And I was like, oh, my God. My friend calls me. He's like, did you fuck my aunt? <laughs> I was like, I think so. <laughs> He's like, oh, uh, yeah, I know, man. You got some real uggos in your past. Uh, You've got something. some real gnarly bitches in your past. Now, if I was her on a regular, with, with her on a regular basis, I'd be like, Josh, I couldn't come either. <laughs> I would just be like, I don't know what it is, but I can't finish. Damn, I, I had God, this. Uh, God damn it. I had this woman one time, and there was a, you know, I was a Boston comic, and yeah. we would go out, and you know, me and Rogan and Burr and all the, Dane Cook, we were doing one-nighters all over New England, you know, like seven nights a week. Comedy was so, we got so fucking lucky. We were born into a time where there was just gigs everywhere, and so like in the first year that we were doing stand-up comedy, we were on the road, yeah. seven nights a week, make, you know, making 25 bucks a pop. Maybe fifty on a good night. But you were in your glory, probably, right? You guys were, just, we were making a living. Yeah, yeah. It was a shitty living, but we were just smoking pot during dream. the day. Yeah, yeah. seeing movies, fucking around, writing material. Yeah, and then going off to you drive. We drive. There was a gig, and it was in Maine, and you didn't get a hotel. It was you know two and a half hours away. There was no hotel. Yeah, and again, making like fifty bucks. You spent half of it on gas, and I drive up there with a uh, with another comic, and we get there. 
we do the show and it's a roadhouse and it's a hell gig. And, uh, and I remember bombing so bad that I was on stage and I was doing jokes and they were, they were nice. They weren't heckling, but they were also not laughing. And uh. I did a joke and I overheard an older couple in the front row. The woman said to the man, the poor bastard. Oh. oh. Which was worse than being heckled. Yeah. yeah. It was pity. And so there was a couple waitresses there oh. and me and the other comic hooked up with the two waitresses, and he went to her place. She drives me to her place. She's in a trailer, and she's got a cool. three-year-old asleep. Her mom is there and just says hi to me like I was the boyfriend coming home from college. Wow. And then takes wow. off. I go in there, and she's a skank. And so I don't know. I don't know. I'm dr- I'm drunk, but I start sobering up. Yeah. And as we're fooling around, I just realize she's just too good at this. Yeah. Mm. And I don't want to be. I don't want to be with the John McEnroe of one night stands in Maine. <laughs> and so really, you actually have that uh, like in you to go like I'm. I don't. I don't, I'd rather not be that than have sex tonight. Right? I don't want to be a number, Tom. Yeah. Wow. But this is also a, like 25 years ago. We're talking. Yeah. About. You still had that mentality. Yeah. Wow. And so we get naked and I remember her chasing me around the bed, trying to put it in her. She was grabbing it and trying to pull it into her and me pulling away. It was like a wrestling match. And it ended with it ended with oral. There was a concession of oral. <laughs> okay. You're like, I'll you let gave you. in to that. Gave in, yeah. woke up in the morning in her bed. And again, no fucking idea where I am. I'm in Maine. Yes. There's no Uber. That's the worst part. <sighs> And so her three-year-old gets up and comes in and the three-year-old doesn't even act shocked. This is all normal. And so I, so I go back to Boston and about, about three weeks later, I run into a buddy man and I'm going to tell you off the air who it is. Comedian, another Boston comedian. Yeah. And I see him and this guy was a horn dog and I see him and he goes, dude, I just did Maine last night. Fuck this girl in her trailer. I go, three year old. He's like, Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so we call the agent and we go, We want to do the gig together. So, like, three months later, <laughs> we walk into the roadhouse, shoulder to shoulder, and we see her. She's got a tray of drinks, practically drops a tray of drinks. <laughs> Cut to after the show in my buddy's car, double teaming her. What? Did what? I, oh, I forgot to mention a detail. She's pregnant. <gasps> What? what? Yeah. How this is pregnant? so much better than my like, story. Like pregnant. Like five months. Well, we showing. were there three months before. Oh, right. Do the math. Oh, right. Who knows? He didn't know. Wow. He that never found out. He, he never found out. He never got the call wow. all these years. Wow. Oh, because you gave her mouth babies. You didn't do. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Do you think wow. she, did she seem pretty good at that? Like at. She was, it was like, if. Is there an Olympics for oral sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gold medalist. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the good thing about skanks is, you know, they, That's they provide That's what we're talking nice about, lot lizards. Have you ever seen or had an experience with a lot them. lizard? No. God, yeah. no. But it sounds like she was kind of close. <laughs> like she's a comedy lizard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What do you call comedy Chuckle lizards? Fuckers. Chuckle, Chuckle fuckers. Chuckle fuckers. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. some well-known ones out there. There's oh a, yeah, like throat zillas of comedy. Yeah, there's a <laughs> yeah, there's one. Where's there's one? I don't want to say anything in specific uh, while we're recording. Sure. But there's a uh, there's a city that I know of that like a lot of comics have had the experience with one person. What? I'll tell you. I'll Is tell it you. a casino in Connecticut? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not. No. Uh-huh. But uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when we're not uh, recording. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I gotta ask. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, that's wild, dude. Yeah, you guys were double teaming her. Double teaming Look her. Look at nice. you. A little bump. Triple you, teaming her because there's still... another, there another yeah. human in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Does you, your uh... wife know what a slut you were? You know, we never got into it. Oh. She hears rumblings, but she's not <laughs> interested because we met at thirty. You know, and you oh, both, yeah, you yeah. both have just, you've been around. You've both yeah. been around. Like I, I remember trying to come up I used to have a bit about this like we trying to come up with pet names for each other that we hadn't already used on somebody else oh. and by, by the end of the week I'm Norman and she's dude <laughs> <laughs> all right cause it's got to be original it's got to be a new one you yeah, haven't yeah. used before yeah. Yeah. honey's gone babe's yeah. gone yeah oh yeah that's why we call each other jeans yeah it's true 